I'm 95% sure that's a killer, killer find. Look at that. That is awesome. You just found the best stuff. So as most of you guys know, we bought a house recently to try to renovate and a big goal on the channel is to do the entire renovation for only $20 out of pocket. We started by taking that $20 here to the Goodwill outlet, bought a bunch of stuff, sold it, and we just kept rolling it. We're gonna try to keep Again, renovating the house. So right now, I think we have $187. $186.17. $186.17. We're going to take that into the Goodwill outlet again today so we can buy some more stuff to keep the flip going. Hey guys. How's it going? Hey. Jeff Gordon. Seat fishing. Look at that. 2000 more. John, can I get that camera bag right now? Let's see what's in here. camera and a Ryko FF3 AF Super. I'll take it. We'll look that up later. I am 95% sure that's a killer, killer find. It's a little Mickey bag. It's really cute. Disney Parks one size. Yeah. Pick that up. Oh, there's some Patagonia pants. Made in USA. We have this big, I think it's Shamu. Mm, yeah, SeaWorld. It doesn't have a date on the tag that I can see, but it's definitely older. And it's a big plush. Plush here at the Goodwill Bins are a dollar per bag. So this, we can get this plus, you know, a whole other bunch of plush for only a dollar. So I'll take a chance on that. Look at this thing here, it says Iron Horse on it. It looks like one of those like containers you strap to a bicycle or something and it seems pretty well made. Super lightweight, probably only costs like a dollar or so. Grab that. Look at this, I thought it was a plush, but it's um, a hooded, dinosaur hooded blanket. New with tags. I don't know if they would count this as a plush or not, but we'll throw it in the bag, see what happens. Check it out, it's Gucci. It's a great brand to look out for. Look at that. That is awesome. Definitely picking that up. Is it another one? Oh, yes. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh, a little, little central perk uh, oven mitt. New attacks. I'll grab that. Oh, we got a, a Thule backpack here. Cool, and there's something in here. Gee. Oh wait, no, it's just like a hard, hard case. Cool makes like a roof racks, like kayak and biking roof racks. This bag looks to be pretty good shape. Other than the, the logo on the front wearing off. Next up, we got this bag here. It definitely feels like real leather, but I don't see any logos on it anywhere. Oh, here we go. Brand is Katie. It's big. I thought it was a laptop bag, but I think it might be like a messenger bag or something. It's be in pretty good shape. I'm gonna grab that. Ooh. USA JC Penny. Cool little pullover. A little stain, but that should come out. Very first wing. Oh wow. 100% virgin wool. Hmm. That's really cool. I don't know anything about this because it's wool. I'm gonna pick it up. I just found this. This is a canar made in Italy. It has some wool in it. I don't have my phone, so I don't really know what it is, but I'm gonna pick it up for now. Looks cute. Looking at the shoes over here. A lot of them are just too worn. I do get this one pair of Dansko, women Danskos, brown leather. With Danskos, you always wanna try to bend them like right in the middle because they often crack right here, but this looks to be in pretty good condition as long as I can find the other one right here. Stanscos aren't great, but these should be an easy 20, 25 bucks or so. Good old grits cookbook. You guys know what grits are? I had grits for breakfast today. Do you remember what you had? Eggs and grits. Eggs and grits. I like grits too. And I got a Craftsman wrench, 516th Craftsman wrench. I don't know, made in USA. I'll grab that. I love the bins like this where you just, I don't know, just, you have no idea what's in here. It could be a poncho, it could be a basket. Be a little some jingle bells. Uh oh, 
We got Dora down here. Dora Beanie Baby. It's kind of cool. People like Dora, right? Yeah! We'll add that to the plush pile. So we're not paying anything extra. So it's essentially free. What is this? Guitar air freshener? Huh. Well, we got my boy Blippy. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout Blippy! Shout out uh, Chris Flip the World. He said that I am the Blippy of <laughs> the reselling industry. Okay, I'm gonna get these two things. Lightweight stuff like that. Oh, we got a dog toy. For Moe's, it's a little coffee cup with donuts that he could pull out. All right. He's gonna love that. Another dog toy for Moe's. I thought this was a Dora backpack, but it's an owl. Haley, that person over there said you sound like an owl. I'm not gonna fall for that. <laughs> You're supposed to say hope. And here we got one of these eggs that I think it says dig a dig a dozen. I did find this cool egg that I think you put in water and then there's like diamonds inside or something. Real diamonds? Probably. Or a real dinosaur. Here's that egg that we got. I have no idea what it is, but I'm pretty sure if you put it in water, something will happen. What if it's a bath bomb? What if... <laughs> I didn't think about it being a bath bomb. If it's a bath bomb, this is a terrible container you got oranges for it. In there. Ooh, look at all that. I don't think... What if it's... <laughs> What, what if it missiles out all over the table? I mean, it doesn't explode. Something it just dissolves in the water. Should we poke it? Poke it with a flipcon pen. Shout out flipcon. I'm scared. Oh, let's just let it settle for a second. Twelve seconds later. I've been patiently waiting here, but I'm not um, patient enough to keep waiting. And I don't think the water is getting any clearer, so I'm just going to try to get a chunk out of this thing. Oh, look at here. It looks super, <laughs> looks super gross. All right, look. There's something in here. I think it's a dinosaur. <laughs> it's like a fossil. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Super gross, but that's what that's what it is. It's a little egg that you put in water and then it slowly chunks up and then you get a little plastic dinosaur. Is this cool or is it dumb? I just found this hat and it's like one of the old military hats and it's got I don't know like a spot scope or something on the front. It's pretty interesting. The tag doesn't say anything. I'm sure it's worth something, it's super lightweight, it'll only cost about 50 cents. So I think I'll take a chance on that, do some more research on that logo and get home. I think I got a Costa hat over here. Maybe? Yeah, Costa. It's a little dirty, but we're going to wash some of this stuff anyway. So we'll just throw it in the washing machine. If it comes clean, we'll sell it. If not, we'll probably toss it. I found a Chick-fil-A uniform. These do pretty well on eBay and they sell pretty fast too. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. Oh, there's another Coochie shirt. That's pretty cool. 3XL. Coogee galore today. Another 3XL. Probably donated from the same person. Also needs some cleaning, but we'll try it. And there's another one. What is this? Amber white gold? Hmm. I'd probably get it if it didn't have the embroideries. But I just don't know what that means. Let me know if I'm passing on something pretty good. It is seriously a Coogee day today. <laughs> Not that are worth like a ton or anything, but like to find so many of them at the bins is pretty cool. He's got some pit stains though. I might pass. This is kind of interesting. I found a couple of these old Mylar balloons. I don't know if they have dates on them, but they're manufactured and printed in the USA. It's got cool like 80s vibes to it. Good luck. We've got happy, happy birthday. Ooh, we got a Barney. Get well soon, Barney. Another happy birthday. I don't know if these are really worth anything, but they're so lightweight. That's a really cool Lion King, vintage, vintage Lion King, another vintage Lion King, another good luck. Again, folks, I'm, I don't know what these are worth, but they're so lightweight. Why not, you know? And some more over here, these are, Yabba Dabba Doo, baby. More Barney. I think that might be it. Oh no, there's some of these that are open. 
Oh, we got my boy Pooh. Shot up Phoenix resale. Probably not gonna get any of these that are that are open. I might have holes or something, but we get all the all the sealed ones. So I just found this bag here. It's an electronic uh, electric fillet knife from American Angler. Uh, model 31001. It's got a cord in there. It's got a knife in there with a little sheath and everything. Looking up, there's like 16 currently listed uh, and 47 sold. Some of these are not the exact ones, um, but well, it's pretty decent. Let me see about used ones. It's been 20 used ones that have sold in the last 90 days. 28 bucks plus shipping, $40 free shipping. Prices are kind of all over the place, but it's a pretty good selfie rate. And it's not going to be that expensive, probably $3, three or $4. All right, we've been in the store for like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So all these things have been dug through pretty extensively. But as you can see, down here, TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. It is missing the back cover, and it does look like there's some battery corrosion in there. But well worth the attempt at saving it. That's an easy 40, 50 bucks as long as we can get it working. Sweet. Haven't bought any clothes yet today. At least I haven't. But I got this American Eagle Outfitters dress. I guess it's cool. Like dresses are very lightweight here, so it's only be like two dollars. And I guess American Eagle is still in style. And there's also add that to my bag. There's also something over here. I might go with it. It's like a tank top or something. Also American Eagle, so it's medium. I found a shirt for me. Oh, perfect. This one's super lightweight. This is probably like 25 cents or something. Also got this little, it's like a short sleeve hoodie. It's like a t-shirt hoodie, Nike. A little center logo. Nothing great, but size medium. Made in Pakistan. This is a little bit heavier. It might cost two bucks or something, but that's still a good deal for Nike. All right, we're gonna go check out. But it's not here right now, but there's a new store manager at this location. And whenever we go up to the registers wearing our cameras, she like, I guess she gets uncomfortable. She doesn't want us getting anybody's face on camera. And we usually try not to, but from now on, we're just not gonna record the checkout process just to avoid any issues in the future. So we will just show you the receipt to show you what we paid for this bag, that bag, and that bag. Haley's in line over there to check out, but I just found this Dooney and Burke purse. Usually like people put stuff back with these two front bends for some reason. It's got the good tag on the inside. It's got, I think it's got the white tag over there. It's in good shape. Can't see anything wrong with it. Stitching looks good. Quality feels good. Haley. Okay, Josh, what did we spend in there? We spent a grand total of $63.37. Can you guys see that? I didn't even see it. 63.37, not too bad. It's, what's today, Thursday? So it's yes. not half off day, which, you know, it's bad because we pay double what we could pay on half off day, but it's good because it's not quite as crowded and generally we find better stuff. We're on the way home from the bins and we decided to stop at another Goodwill. We've done pretty well at this Goodwill the past couple times. So. Yeah, this is the one closest to our house and lately it's been really good. Back here in the shoe section, already hitting something interesting, some Nike TN, TN Airs. These are only gonna be six dollars and fifty cents. A little bit of heel drag down there, but I still think they're pretty good condition overall. Kind of got those. So we've been looking around the store for like twenty minutes or so. Unfortunately, it's not looking like it's gonna be a super hot day for us. Uh, at least not me. The only, well, the only other thing I found was these Sam Edelman um, like wedge sandals. These will be six fifty as well. Sam Edelman's. Well, that's okay. Maybe twenty bucks or so. What do you got? Um, a pair of Carhartt pants. Carhartt pants. Really large okay. size. Yeah. There's a little stain on the back, but I think that'll be okay. Yeah, those will be, I think pants are $4.75, maybe. I found this Maeve by Anthropology sweater, which I don't like pick up that uh, that often. It doesn't move that quick, but yeah. this is 100% lambskin. Lambs, not lambskin. Lambskin. Lambs Lamb, wool. Lambs wool. It's got like flared sleeves too. Yeah. That's cool. And then probably the coolest, I think, I don't know. It's oh, wow. a free people jacket embroidered. Wow. I saw a sold comp for a white version of this for $55 plus shipping. Yeah, that's all embroidered. So that's, yeah. I mean, that's awesome. You just found the best stuff. So we spent exactly $30 in there. I think we can get some pretty good profit from a lot of the stuff that we got. So Yeah, especially that jacket. That was yeah. awesome. Good stuff. We came to another Goodwill. We actually came to this one maybe three weeks ago and found a ton of great stuff, but that was the first time we'd been here in probably like a year or so. It's been a while. So we came back hoping we could find even more stuff and 
we did. I'm just trying to get to a place where we can actually film with my phone here. All right, so we got a, a Johnny O pullover, Clemson PFG, the big Clemson thing on the back. Got another PFG here. Got a Carhartt short sleeve. Got a Quidditch jersey. Under Armour shirt, Jurassic Park hoodie, Doc Martin boots that Haley found, Doc Martin airwear. Got this pair of sequin Ugg boots. Those are in great condition. Guys, this was my find of the day. Johnny, Johnny was. was. It has a hole in the sleeve right there, but Josh thinks that we can repair it. So it's right on the seam, so I think we're good to go. Yeah. Haley also found this bikini jacket, which is an uh, anthropology anthropology brand. Kool-Aid Man hoodie. Let's go get this fleece hoodie. It's like furry and it's Vans. It's Vans yeah. We usually don't buy Vans stuff, but you know, this is pretty cool. It's only $5.75, I think. So found these boots, which these are A-U-M-U, -U, and they're apparently like lambskin on the side. So I saw a pre-owned comp for $50 plus shipping on these. Got a pair of Kizik's. These are super cool. These are the ones that like break down in the back so you don't have to tie your shoes. These should go for like 30 bucks or so. The bottoms are a little dirty, but that's not a big issue. We found these Timberland yep. boots. Nice little pair of Vans here. Shoes are only $6.50. Not much here, maybe 15, 20 bucks, but they're in good condition. You really don't even need cleaning. And last but not least, I got this pair of Skechers women's wedges. Brand new with tags, they're memory foam. Skechers are okay. I, I mean, these are gonna be, I think, $4.75. Uh, and I think we'd probably get like 20 bucks for them. So we got everything except the Ugg boots. When we were checking out, I noticed that they had a lot of toe wear, like a mm -hmm. lot of the sequins were missing. So we put those back. Got everything else, and our grand total was $90. I will say, I did, get a, I did get a pair of shoes for myself. Oh yeah, those so, were six fifty. I think they were four seventy five. Oh yeah, yeah, four seventy five. So four seventy five. $86.25? Something like that. Eighty-six <laughs> twenty-five. You guys have seen us buy a lot of stuff in today's video, but we don't have much money left, so we gotta start selling some of this stuff. And luckily, we actually started listing some of it on eBay yesterday when we bought the stuff, and some of it has already sold. The cameras that I found when we first went into the Goodwill in the camera bag, I said we'd look at comps on them later. Both of those cameras were very good. The big one was a Canon AF100 Super Shot, I don't know, whatever, whatever it was. I'll put a comp on the screen. This is the actual sold listing of ours. We listed it. I think it was two days ago, and then it sold overnight for $150 plus shipping on the camera. So that was fantastic. Definitely be on the lookout for that one. The other one was pretty good, the Ryko, but it hasn't sold yet. So right on that. Next up was the calculator that we found. Again, those are always super fast sellers. We got, I think, $40 plus shipping on that one, and it was only listed for like an hour or so. Haley, would you like to talk about the jacket that you Yes, found? I found that free people jacket, the embroidered one at the Goodwill. And mm -hmm. that one, I had sold, saw the sold comp for $55, so I put it a little bit less at $45 plus shipping, and it sold within like hours. Yeah, it was wild. Like five or six hours. Yeah. Sick jacket. 45 bucks on that. We got the Dansko clogs. I decided to list those on eBay. Dansko. Uh, and those sold for 20 bucks. Like I said, not great. They used to sell for like 40 to 50, but we'll take $20 on those all day long. And then the Nike hoodie, like the short sleeve Nike hoodie we picked up at the thrift store, I think we paid $4.75 for that. And that sold on Whatnot yesterday. We accidentally put that in a, a separate Whatnot auction, but that one sold for like, it was like $14.13 after fees. Let's just say 14 bucks or so on that. So after fees, shipping, everything on these five items we made two hundred thirty seven dollars and sixty four cents adding that to our current total gives us some much needed breathing room because when the totals get down to single digits we get kind of nervous we're about to do a quick whatnot auction with 26 items that we picked up in today's video it's not everything we found a couple of the higher end items we decided to list on ebay to try to get top dollar but for some of the lower end goodwill bins items and uh, some of the stuff we picked up at the regular Goodwill store, we're going to put those in a whatnot auction, start them at a dollar, 30 second auctions, and just see what happens. Here's the synopsis of the show. It says 30 things.
things total, but that's because we had four giveaways and that's the shipping we paid for the giveaways. And then that is the total gross revenue for the show. So I don't know what our current total was at, but Haley has kindly put it on the screen here and we just completed our whatnot auction. All the stuff on whatnot after fees and shipping and everything it made us a total net profit of $321.07. So that definitely helps our budget. Uh, and uh, we're just very grateful for all of you guys that support us over on whatnot. Absolutely. And now we're gonna take that money to the Home Depot, buy a couple things that we can use to work on the plumbing and the bathroom floor at our flip house. Okay, what are we getting in here? Um, we're getting some plywood to fix the floors and a couple of two by sixes and a half sheet of drywall. And maybe see if they have uh, the tool rental service in here. See if they have one of those electric copper pipe cutters. Cause we got a lot of copper pipes to cut and my little handheld thing hurts my wrist after a while. So we've picked up the plywood for the floor. We picked up a little bit of Pex plumbing and Josh has a couple of other things that he's picked up but I think that's gonna do it for the day. Josh said that he forgot his tools for the Pex at the house so we can't start that today. So we're just gonna head back to the house and figure it out. All right, our total is going to be $117.65. Gotta use that credit card cash back maybe. Well, actually, the total is 127 at $0.06. Cents. For the last, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour, we've been trying to pull up the subfloor here because underneath the crawl space, we saw that all three of these floor joists had been cracked. So we had to replace them anyway. And it's uh, it's been a workout, but as you can see, we got everything out. A lot of pipes, all the copper pipes going to be replaced. That's the shower drain line. Might not have to replace the whole thing, just the coupling that comes up and the floor joists. So. Moving on to the next piece. This is the wood we're gonna replace the subflooring with, uh, but we forgot to get the two by sixes to replace the floor joists. So I'm just gonna lay this wood down on top of the old floor joists and not nail it in just to cover the holes so we don't get- Raccoons. Raccoons or deer, elk, all the varmints. Oh yeah. So I'm back at the house today. I'm gonna get under the crawl space here and cut out some more of the plumbing that we started to do last time. I've got, three fully charged batteries and two sawzall blades so i think that should be enough to get the job done i forgot to record it but i did go back to home depot this day and i got the wood for the floor joists i picked up a new toilet flange a bunch of odds and ends and spent about 60 dollars. this is the underside of the primary bathroom you can see how badly the floor joists are cracked here we're going to try to get these replaced today i've got the wood and our handyman dean is going to come over and help me replace those but in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and get the plumbing ripped out so we got that water line right there you can see and it runs all the way over here probably going to go ahead and pull out this old piece of insulation since we will probably just replace that it's all wet and soggy but everything else over here looks fairly solid we're going to keep the toilet where it is we're going to keep the shower drain where it is might roll out to replace a little bit the part that i ripped out but if we can just get this part done today that will be good for me. I love that they took the time to insulate all these copper pipes. Normally you don't really see that. There we go. And we are gonna recycle all that copper and put the money that we get for them towards the house flip. We haven't really started with anything on the electrical side of things yet, but there's these little wires that were like taped to the bottom of the insulation on this thing. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just trying to be careful. I don't wanna mess with those until we can figure out what they go to it looks uh, looks like it goes to the outside of the house so i don't know the copper is my only concern at the moment so i'm pretty sure this is where the water is coming into the house from like from the ground here it goes up that goes to a spigot outside uh, and then this supplies the rest of the house so we're going to cut about right here put a coupling and then everything after this will be replaced with pex plumbing <laughs> A little bit of water that's fine just residual i think i cut all the way through that there we go i guess thirsty all right we got dino over at the house we just cut the first new floor joist let's see dino you wanna i got hold this. that for me let's we'll see if this fits in here if it doesn't fit it's not my fault i didn't cut it i did cut it could be wrong in there tight and they're tight we don't even need screws <laughs> it's perfect that's how we roll dean and done 
Can I step on this ductwork? That's solid, right? It's not gonna. No. <laughs> just... That's the flex duct. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect way to test the strength of new floor joists. Just to put all your weight on the middle. Easy. Finally making some progress here. So we finished up at the house. I'm on the way back home now, and I just gotta give Dean a huge shout out. He's just always so responsive. I texted him yesterday to see if he had any time in the next couple weeks to help with the floor joists, and he said I could come tomorrow. So super fast response time. Really knows what he's doing. Always just happy to help. I actually went to go pay him today for his services, and he just refused any money. He's like, don't worry about it. He was there for like an hour and a half just doing all that work for free. So we're definitely gonna Venmo him something for his assistance, maybe 50 bucks or so, so we can account for that in our flip budget. Um, but Dean, he's a great guy, great YouTuber. He's got a YouTube channel called Dean and Dunn Handyman, and he's actually in the process of flipping a house just like us, but his house only costs $30,000. So as you can imagine, it needs a lot of work. So if you guys wanna see him flip that house, definitely go to his YouTube channel, link below, and check out those videos. Just pulled into our neighborhood, and I'm pretty sure Haley and Moe's are out walking somewhere. Oh, here they are. Hello. Oh, Moe's, I'm sorry, you didn't, he stopped he pooping. Poop. I'm so sorry. No jumping, no jumping. Love you so much. I'll see you at the house. <laughs> Finish pooping. There he is. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and wipe that off. We do have some pretty good news. We sold the second camera out of the camera bag at the Goodwill Benz, the Ryko Point and Shoot. That one sold on eBay a little bit ago for $32 yes, plus shipping. Plus so after fees, whatever that is, adding that to the total. And this is a very in-depth video filmed over the course of several days. Uh, and we've just done a lot. So if you guys have enjoyed it, definitely let us know by dropping a comment down below, hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below as well, one of these days, I think we're going to finish this house. Maybe. Not today. <laughs> not, not today. Tomorrow. Not today and not tomorrow, but one day. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best. We will catch you on, on the, the next, next one. one.